Something I'm noticing today is that at the front and the back of the boat, you see all of these little dings, these little bop, bop, bop. That's where the um, hull got dented up when they were trying to park it over the years. And I notice that there are these green marks of verdigris uh, oxidation of the metal um, more in the areas where it's dinged up from parking um, in between the plates of the metal. Um, and so that decreases a bit the uh, more towards the center of the boat that you get because it's, uh, I'm not going to trip here. That would be embarrassing. The more towards the center you get, the less uh, there is bouncing around. But you can also see um, that there's still little bits of oxidation around um, the rivets and also where the um, where the rust is poking through the paint, where the paint is peeling, which is pretty cool. Um, so I like thinking about that, uh, thinking about the way things got to look the way that they do and sort of the history of uh, the object. get really interesting over here. You can see that really disgusting uh, situation where all the bilge water comes out uh, for drainage and that uh, the bow of the ship uh, is really interesting because uh, of course it runs into everything first so it gets all banged up. Uh, so you can see how in places once upon a time, I imagine it was painted, um, like you see this uh, sort of white flaky patch right there, but it's uh, mostly not there anymore, and I, uh, I rather prefer it that way. I think it's uh, more interesting, and I know that they're restoring the ship, so it'll probably be better for the ship uh, itself once that's protected, but I think it's really beautiful the way it is. You can see how it got uh, banged up over the years running into things, um, and I like thinking about the way that uh, you can see where the high water mark has typically been, like where the uh, water splashes up on there. Um, sort of where the, the scummy line is, um, and thinking about the way that uh, the dirt and the growth settles into um, those little divots, and also how I'm going to apply the paint in layers uh, when I uh, 